Here we go, let's weigh it up. Hey everybody, my name's John and welcome to my channel. This is all about what I consider my lightweight gear. We're gonna scatter it out on the ground, we're gonna weigh it up, and we're gonna go through all the details. So stay with me and we'll get started. You're looking at my lightweight loadout kit. And this kit will take me down to about 39 degrees. So let's go ahead and dive into the gear and take a look at it. This is the ULA Ohm 2.0. It's an ultralight backpack. And on the front, it just has this stretchy pouch. And on the back, of course, you have your harness, your shoulder harness, and it has the load lifters. And of course, you've got your normal shoulder strap cinch. Now, each side of this harness has these bungee cord tie-outs. If you wanted to hook some gear onto it, I use it to hook my water bottle on there. Let's talk about the hip belt. The hip belt on the back it has this cinch strap, so you can pull it up against your body, uh, up against your hips. And also on the front of your hip belt, it has two adjustments to it on each side. So you can tighten it down with two adjustments. And each side has this zipper pouch. The pack has two side pockets. They're big pockets. You can put a lot of gear in here. And on the side, you have your cinch strap that you can cinch this down. It's the same on both sides with your cinch strap. The ULA Ohm is just a bucket style pack. There's no divider inside. It just goes straight down. Inside, you have this zipper pouch. Now, I just keep my keys in here. I'll put them in a freezer bag and I'll put these in here and I'll zip them up when I'm at the truck and I don't get back in it. I leave it alone because I don't want to lose my keys out in the bush. And the last feature of this pack is a water bladder sleeve if you wanted to put a water bladder inside. Let's see what an empty pack weighs. That's 2.46 pounds. Now that's an ultralight backpack. That's a good weight. Now this is how I go about loading up my pack. I'll start down here on this hip belt. This is just my phone and charger and a cable, and it fits perfect in this side pocket. And that takes care of that side of the belt. For the other side of the belt pouch, I carry these two items. I hang a paracord in this carabiner, and that's what I use to hang my pack to a tree. In this freezer bag, I just have camera gear, some extra batteries, an SD card, and my lens cover. And I just put that in there. This is a rain cover for my camera. And all that just fits in this other belt pouch. And that takes care of my belt pouch. This is my Snow Peak Ultralight Cook Set, and I put it in this side pouch. I put it in here first because once you start to put stuff here in the main contents of the pack and it starts to stretch, it's hard to get this cook set in this side pocket. Let's look at the inside of this thing. It's got my stove and my mug and my fuel, a nest into my mug, and I've got my spork. I have a detailed video on this cook set, and I'll link to it in the description box below, and you can look at that one to get all the details about this cook set. But it fits perfectly in this side pocket. Let's weigh up the cook kit. The Snow Peak is coming in at 20.63 ounces. Now that's with the fuel canister. Without the fuel canister is 14.43 ounces. Now that's pretty good. That's a good weight for a cook set. It's coming in under a pound. I'll put in my trash compactor bag. Everything I don't want to get wet, I put inside of here. The first thing I load in the main contents of my pack is this rain suit. This is a marmot rain suit. So I just stuff that down in the bottom. I'll put some extra socks inside. The War Bonnet XLC Blackbird Hammock. Now my hammock is a double layered hammock. Let me get over here and unzip it so you can see it. Now of course the double layer is gonna add a little bit of extra weight to it. And then I could probably go with a lighter hammock system, but this thing is just so comfortable. I don't wanna mess with it. Now it's time to put in the hammock. And it's gonna fit right between these two pouches. And what I'm doing is I'm pulling it back towards me. So it's uh, next to my back. And that leaves me a little section right here that I can put something. The hammock's coming in at 42.82 ounces. Let's look at this and see what it is. It's just a Sea to Summit bag. This is my headlamp. It's a black diamond headlamp. 
I have this compass, and I really don't take the compass for directional purposes because where I camp, I know where I'm going. But this has got a mirror inside and it can be used as a first aid. I carry a pocket knife. And these are just some extra batteries. And that's all the things that I carry in this little kit. That's going to fit right up here in that area, right there. Headlamp, pocket knife, extra batteries, and compass weigh 10.58 ounces. I have two pieces of gear here. I have this Thermarest seat pad, and then I have this z pax footprint for a tent that I put underneath my hammock. I stake it out. Yeah, I just put this down in this sleeve. It fits right in there. My next two items that go in will be my z pax sleeping bag and my war bonnet underquilt. Yeah, this is a 20 degree down under quilt. It's a torso length quilt. It's a war bonnet. And it's a Yeti. It's called the Yeti. This is my Z-Pax 40 degree down sleeping bag. Let me show it to you. It's rather expensive, but it's worth it. It's worth every penny I paid for this bag. I really do like it. One of the reasons I like this sleeping bag is because it's designed to zip down the middle and so I can use it as a top quilt since I sleep in a hammock. Here's the foot box, and it's not a wide foot box. It's, you know, it's rather narrow for a foot box, but it's fine for me. It works just perfect. I want you to see something on how I pack this thing. Now, if you notice, it's wider that way than it is that way. And I'm gonna put these two side by side, and they'll go right down in my backpack, just like that. And I'm gonna put this up against my back. This goes up against my back, and this will go in front of it. Okay, I'm gonna start out with a sleeping bag. I'm gonna put it in just like that, up against my back. Then I come in here with my underquilt. Now that's gonna go in front of it. So right here is the top. The underquilt, it's coming in at 12.66 ounces. The z pack sleeping bag, the z packs is coming in at 15.98 ounces, and that's with a stuff sack that weighs less than a pound, 40 degree down sleeping bag. Now that's pretty good, that's lightweight. This is my Sawyer water filtration kit. Let me show it to you. This is the regular Sawyer squeeze, and I have two of these aftermarket bladders. They're knock bladders. That's the plunger that goes with it to back flush it. And I just have some cordage and a coupling so I can do some gravity fed type water filtration. Water filter kit will fit right up here in front. The Sawyer water filtration system. The water filtration kit weighs 10.16 ounces. Next up is my hygiene kit slash first aid kit. And I keep it in this OP sack and that prevents the smells from coming out to attract animals. And so I just keep this inside my pack all the time. But let's get into it and look at it. I just carry some powder. This would be my toothbrush and toothpaste and dental floss. Then I have my toilet paper and bio wipes. Then I have my first aid kit, and I just put this together. It has some cough drops, some nasal decongestant, some antacid, some alcohol wipes and iodine wipes. And then I have some of these butterfly band-aids. So I'll take this kit and I'll put it on top. And on top of that, I'll put my gloves. Now that's everything that goes in this trash compactor bag. I just kind of roll it up at this point and push it down. So right now, right here is the top of my gear. Hygiene kit. The hygiene kit weighs 8.68 ounces. Next up is my tarp. This is the War Bonnet Superfly Tarp. And I've done several videos on this tarp. I'll link to it in the description box below. But let's just look at it. I'll show you how I'll stuff it. Now my tarp already has all the cordage attached to it. And I just pull it right out of this stuff sack. I just put the Superfly in next. It goes right up against my back. And that leaves me a little room to put something in front of it. The Superfly tarp. The tarp weighs 21.27 ounces. Up next will be my tarp stakes and some cordage. Let's look at it. I'm just gonna pull all this out. This is my cordage for my tarp. Now these two are for my tie outs on my ridge line. And this is just some extra cordage that I take. This is a Dyneema. It's a real lightweight cordage. And it's strong. You'll never break it. These are strips of shock cord, and I use that on my tarp to keep it tight. This is my cat hole trowel, and I recommend this. This is a deuce of spades. It's made out of aluminum, and it's real lightweight. 
Don't waste your time on those plastic ones. Get this one. I've got two types of tarp stakes here. This is for that ground pad that I put underneath my hammock. These are the groundhog minis. And these are the regular MSR groundhogs. This is what I stake out my tarp with. This is just a carabiner that I take. And I use this to hook over my ridge line inside my hammock. I hook that Sea to Summit bag that I use to carry around my headlamp and extra batteries and compass. And then I'll put my glasses and things like that in there at night. I just take that stuff sack and put it right in front of my tarp. Tarp stakes and cordage. 10.65 ounces. Very last thing that I put in the main compartment of the pack is my earth sack. This will be my food bag. Now this is an OP sack and I use this for trash. Now of course all these OP sacks are odor proof. The smells can't get through. And then I have a second one, OP sack, just like it. And I keep my food inside of it. And since I have all my trash and food in those OP sacks, it doesn't matter if this earth sack gets wet. I always just tie this to a tree. I'll just put my food bag on top. I'll take this cinch strap and I'll tighten it down. I'll roll up the extra cordage, put it inside, then I just roll that over. And this thing has got a strap for it that you can tighten it down with over here on the back side. You've got a snap here on front. You just snap that in there, give out a pull, and I just put the extra over there in that stretchy pouch. And that's got the main contents of my pack fully loaded. This is just a pack cover. And I just put it at the bottom of this stretchy pouch. We're almost fully loaded. I'll take this smart water bottle and the beef free and put it in this side pocket. All right, now I'm gonna take care of these cinch straps on the side. I'll just give these a tug. Now I'll go do the same thing on the other side. After I strap on the pack, I'll put on this water bottle right here. It fits right there. And that's it. That's my lightweight pack loadout. Let's weigh up this pack. Let me turn on my scale. And we'll be reading in pounds. And I'm gonna hook this pack up. And we'll see how much it weighs. We've got 21.78 pounds, and that's with a full complement of fuel and water and no food. Now we're looking at the pack weight without any water. We still have fuel, but no water. And I've got 18.13 pounds. Let me show you how this pack hooks up. It has this hip belt. It's got two straps on each side. There's two pulls for it, and it just snaps in the front like all your other hip belts do. And you got these two adjustments on each side, and you can pull those the way you want it. I usually start out and I get my hip the way I want it. I want most of my weight, actually I want all the weight just about on my hip and not on my shoulder. Then of course you have your shoulder straps. I fit them up next. And then once I get it pretty comfortable and I think that's the way I like it, I'll go over here and I'll hook up my sternum strap. And that feels pretty good right there. So at this point, I've got these side straps on my hip belt. Now I'll pull them. And that feels real good. I like that weight. That feels real good. Now the last thing I'll do is I'll reach back here and grab these load lifters. And I'll give them a tug. And that pulls it right up against my back. Now that's real comfortable. And that's, yeah, that feels good. That's how I do it. This is the only pack where I carry my water up here on front. I like to carry my water in containers when I take this pack because I can reach to everything. I carry one up here. And I have these water containers right here in this side pocket. I have that one. That's a one liter smart water bottle and I can carry my water filter. It's a one liter. And I can fill up my containers without having to take off my backpack. And that's what I like about it. You saw how easy it was for me to filter the water and fill up these containers without even having to take my pack off. Now I can take the full container 
And I can easily put it right back in my backpack. I can take this full bee free. I can put it right in beside that one. No problem. And then of course I have this full one on front. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to me, hit that bell so you'll get notified on my next video. And check out these videos. Thank you for watching.